Okay guys, so get this. Ice Cube has built a career on being as anti-establishment as it gets. From his pioneering work with N.W.A. in his seething No Vaseline diss track, where he proclaims I never have dinner with the president, to his more recent Arrest the President single, there hasn't appeared to be a Republican-leaning bone in his body. But this is 2020. On Wednesday, October 14th, Cube became a trending Twitter topic after Donald Trump's senior campaign advisor, Katrina Pearson, thanked the gangster rap legend for allegedly assisting Trump develop the platinum plan via Twitter. Shout out to Ice Cube for his willingness to step up and work with real Donald Trump administration to help develop the platinum plan. He wrote, Leaders gonna lead, haters gonna hate, thank you for leading. Cube soon headed to Twitter to do some damage control, writing, Facts. I put out the CWBA contract with Black America. Both parties contacted me. Dem said we'll address the CWBA after the election. Trump campaign made some adjustments to their plan after talking to us about the CWBA. Despite Cube's attempt at an explanation, it was too late. The damage was done. Twitter erupted with reactions to Cube's perceived hypocrisy, especially since he just posted a video stating no president in the entire history of this country has ever done right by black people. Several people started recirculating an old tweet of Cube's from 2016 in which he empathetically states, I will never endorse a motherfucker like Donald Trump ever again, 2020. Here were some of the best reactions we found. Ice Cube meeting with Trump got woke Twitter like, I'm confused. Ice Cube, the man who dropped arrest the president is now supporting Trump's bogus platinum plan. The faux plan that panders for the black vote out of desperation? Please, Ice Cube, say something. If this is true, help us understand why. Ice Cube on Trump, 2016. Do I think he's going to do anything to help poor people or people that's struggling? No. 2018. He's violating the country in a lot of ways. Every day is something. It's just every day. 2020. I can't wait to see Trump like Weinstein in handcuffs. But what do you guys think? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to hiphopdx.com.